Turn 30. More skeleton summoning. Dark knowledge into that throne. It was a well of pestilence. Two magic sites up here. Another air, and some more death. Once again, my idiot god found nothing. And I guess it's some over here. Sure. Um, let's move you. Got a bunch of blood slaves. Uh, again, assassination thing. He's probably grabbing one of my bat leaders. Yeah, my old annoyance. Looks like he finally woke up. And moving his god around. What is this? A bunch of Vestatas? Whatever. And a bunch of long dead over there. Sitting waste. And then all of my attacks on Ashdod. Just one dude. So, let's see if any of these are interesting. Well, looks like my one Skele Spammer won, so I'm guessing he did actually only have one PD over here. And the skeletons are victorious. Um... Asphodel, he only had one PD. My priesty man. Okay, so everything was victorious, whoever attacked one. And then we've got the hell? Shark Knight, okay. That's lame. And I can't kill him, okay. That was stupid, so I, that was an event, I guess. It's a gold tax, so that would be, what, five gold a turn that I'm losing from that moron? And... Trackless Weiss. Oh look, fire gems, that's the only way I get them is from events. And Asphodel's breached, and a bunch of patrolling, and one of my guys died. Okay. So we'll go ahead and storm Asphodel. And I'll take those gems, thank you. Unless he can pull off some nasty shit. Um, so in case he blade wins, let's go ahead and split all of my stuff up. And put the leaders. That should work. And then one idiot outside. Okay. Do you bother searching? Where the hell are... Well, I guess I've got Huge Crater, which I think is an event when, like, a meteor hits, unless he searched that up. Oberg Settlement? That's worthless. And some frogs. Speaking of frogs... Ew, he's got a lot of waste up here. That's kind of lame. Uh, let's go ahead and attack. Quite well organized. Hmm. One, uh, one, two, three. Okay, you can reach. So I'm gonna go ahead and double those up. Wolf tribe warriors, so he must be patrolling for some reason. Um, and then. Oh, we can't reach. We can reach there, though. And actually, I don't want to move there, because if he's covering his, his stuff out, he'll probably stage there. Let's go ahead and attack here. Or here, like that. Okay, and that's a storm. And then this guy can go... I guess. Actually, no, I can just search this. Because I'm going to be... Well, 
Yeah, I'll search it anyway. Even if I'm not going to end up end up connecting it for long. Um, don't need to put him there. What has he got? Quite well organized. And let's go up there so I can see everything. Home's got a lot of land, but land does not make you win the game, particularly when the throne count's ridiculously low. Don't have enough. Actually, don't even have enough gold to make a temple. <laughs> Since Scalaria woke up, so I'm not getting as much free gold here. Uh, let's put all this in here, and then. I'll guard you. And actually, what is this? 250. Uh, gatehouse. And research, and you're going to summon more walls. Walls. And you're going to search. Research. Actually, you can search. No, not you. You. So I don't have to waste a turn moving him around. I'll go up there to search. Search. And. Yeah. I'll go up there. Research. This guy. Where's so I've got one, one, two, three, four. Got another one up here. I guess we'll move him over there to search as well. And I'm gonna need some more scouts. So let's make a couple shadow imps. Shadow imps are maintenance free. Stealthers. So um, I'll use those to ferry slaves in places that don't have labs. Sneak over there, I'll probably be killed, but it's okay. Go ahead and search. Hopefully, he tries to overextend, but he probably won't. Uh, we'll cast another Pale Riders, another Long Dead, or Mount King, rather. More research here. And I've got my three sets of boots. I don't think I need any more. I should do an empower though. So let's empower you. There, dude. Okay. And I should forge. Let's forge a robe of the sea. I'll need one of those eventually, so I might as well forge it now. I've got the turn. Send those over there to Blood Hunt, and actually, well, I'll just leave the slaves, whatever. You're done searching. I guess I'll move back if he's awake. This guy's just kind of dancing around <laughs> doing nothing. Oh well. Um, search. Yeah, you can go scout. That's like the last place to search. How many bats is this? 48. Um, sure. There we go. In case he tries to assassin me. Which that won't work. Uh, you can sit there. You can sneak. And actually, we'll sneak you. Oh, I've got all these. I don't think I want to move there, because if he moves back, I'm going to run into skeletons. I'll just fly him over there. 
I don't think I need all my bats up here. I'll just use the rest of these to counter raid. And research. And actually, should pick up those bats. And how much is Asphodel even worth? Yeah, look at that. It's garbage. At least he's got. Why does he have turmoil? Oh, that's right. He pl paid for double bless. <laughs> wow, turmoil hash dot. Um, swordsman and Chichai and kites. Okay. And I was gonna scout up here to make sure he's not moving on this throne, but I think he's kind of busy. And the next turn I'll probably jump down there. Okay, we need to split this back up. So we're gonna put 53 in construction. Not a moment too soon. Um, that's gonna be useful to cancel these, because I can just black card some of these and send them out and have Mexicel spam his guys to death with bottles. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to save this fort or not, but if not, I can just um, move them, stealth them all there and assassinate everyone uh, so he can't move them. Actually, I'd rather he move them. So I'd let him move them out, then assassinate them, cut all the retreats, ping them, dissolve all the skeletons, um, and then retake this fort if I lose it, which is not a big deal, just the uh, the loss of gold will be annoying. And what else? I think that's really all I can do this turn. Bullet Slaves, I'm getting a decent number now. What, like 60 to 80 now? Yeah, just more like it. And it's going to keep going up. I'm going to get this one. This will be another 20 or so. Usually every province of 400 is going to get you about 20 Blood Slaves, assuming you're patrolling and keeping the unrest down to zero. Um, if you're not patrolling... Um, that you're going to get maybe half that or so, which I guess if you don't feel like wasting effort on patrollers, you can do that, but you still are losing the gold income, uh, so it's better to patrol with maintenance-free garbage like wolves, um, and then get the maximum amount of blood slaves you can get per province, since patrolling doesn't depopulate nearly as much as it should, so there's really very little incentive not to. Okay, he's on retreat. So that's kind of what I'm doing here. So these already have, how many has this got? Like 80 wolves, that's enough. Oh, do I have like a, oh, let me just pick these up. Here, pick those up. Uh, about 80 wolves there. This is about, what, 40, 60 or so guys. I'm over here, I'm gonna have 40 long dead horse. And that should be enough. I might have to summon up a group of wolves or something too, but. We'll see if 40 long dead horse will be enough. Um, and then after I do this province, I'll do the same thing on this one as well. Uh, that should be like a decent baseline to keep me going with blood income. Uh, so yeah, next turn is going to be a ton of forging. First thing I'm going to start with, uh, forging probably two... Well, this guy, I'll give him the robe and have him forge... Um, actually, yeah. So I'll have him forge a... I'll give him the rope, he'll forge a bottle. I'll also forge a black heart, the first one. Um, this guy will forge a bracelet. And I'll forge some boots of youth, namely for... I don't think he needs it, because he's... Um, yeah, he's got a bunch of nature, so he's fine. Oh, I should probably give him some gems there, in case he needs to do something. And what is this script? There. So you can cast stuff. And you're gonna research. And this guy, I guess I'll just leave him preaching for now until I have a little bit of gold. Um, and I told him he could come grab this. So, is he going to? I don't know. 
We'll see. And I also want to see if he's an attack as well, or if he'll attack me, or what. I mean, I don't really care as long as someone's fighting over Ashdod's provinces. If it's not me, it's, it's okay. Um, yeah. But now he's kind of in a, got a conundrum here. So he's got this big blob. I'm assuming he's fording this, and he's fighting against Vanarus and myself. Um, so Vanarus is kind of fighting over this throne, and I'm just going to swoop in and completely ruin his economy. Um, and then check over here to make sure that there's no Ashdod running this way. Because if Ashdod's going over there, then we're probably screwed, unless it, uh, this guy forded it. Um, and if he didn't, I probably won't be able to stop him in time, because I would have to pull up all of these, and it takes, what, like three turns to get there, even with flying that move three. Um, so I wouldn't be able to stop him. Unless he took too long. If he took too long, then I could stop him. And, yeah, so next turn I'll have blood four, so I'll change up the script on one of those. Um, or two of them, actually. My little garnets to make them bloodless, their imps. Which is very powerful. And then I'll also keep going. Mostly. We're going to be looking to get, um, first off, I'll be going down to Infernal Disease, which is down here someplace, yeah, Blood 6. This guy's going to be kind of a, a big important one. Um, also going to get Toads. I think I might Toad Scalaria a couple times. Um, that will probably be worth it. And next turn, I'll also start sport forging some Blood Boosters, so I'll be able to have a few, you know, B3 and 1s to do toads, um, along with my already, I've got that, what, N N3, B4 now, um, and he can forge a Bloodthorn, which will get him to Blood 5, and then he can forge a little skull that gives plus 1 blood, or kind of whatever else, I'll be able to forge whatever blood boosters I want, so I will be forging a bunch of those. Um, because, although for now I'll only be able to do Toads, and if I feel like empowering doing a um, Infernal Disease, or I might do some Ritual Five of Gates, I don't think I will. I'm going to save my Blood Slaves, uh, because Infernal Disease is only five, which is basically free. Um, so let's make Boosters, um, Black Hearts, and Infernal Disease maybe, and some Toads on Scalaria, and then all the rest is going to go straight into Curse of Blood. And the great thing is is I can take those boosters I forge, and with two boosters, a vampire can infernal disease without any empowers. So it kind of just flows together like that. Um, and once I've done that, then I'll probably go and get Alteration 6, and Enchantment 6, and kind of all of the other things that vampires can do, including uh, probably after all that, going down to Thaumaturgy 7, assuming the game is still going, in order to learn Plague. If you've never used Plague, it's ridiculously powerful. Um, if they're using living troops that aren't like demons or undead, and you land Plague, and just kind of delay the battle a little bit, let it spread around, it will literally kill every single unit it touches, um, unless it has built-in regeneration, in which case it will probably horribly, aff horribly affliction them to the point of making them useless. It's a very powerful spell. Um, it doesn't get used that much, I don't think, outside of the goon meta, but it is, it owns, so. You'll get, assuming the game goes long enough, you'll get to see it. If it doesn't go long enough, um, yeah, I guess you can just try it out in, like, debug mod or something. But yeah, this is going to be annoying. Fortunately, I'll soon have assassin capabilities, so if he tries to touch my forts, there's no way he can keep his commanders alive. Unless he brings this guy. If he brings this guy, I'll just set a trap for him. Mostly, I can just stack a whole bunch of water bottles. This guy may be powerful, but with a whole bunch of water elementals beating on him, he'll die just like anything else. Water elementals own for killing SC gods. Um, mostly because they have, like, four high-powered armor-piercing... I think they're armor-piercing. Isn't Crush armor-piercing? Let me look real quick. Rush. So they get four high, it's like a 20 damage bludgeoning attack. Um, 
each water elemental gets that. And yeah, it's armor piercing. So it's 20 damage armor piercing times four, which is ridiculous. And it, you know, you have to kill the water elemental like five times, although only the first three or so forms are that dangerous. Um, but still, just a couple of those water elementals getting up onto an SC god, even a regenerating one, they're going to kill you. Or if, if they don't kill you, they're going to do a lot of damage. And then other things I have, namely magic, that will be shooting at you will kill you. And if he manages to, if he keeps this guy like in really high candles and stacks regeneration and can survive water elementals, well, just give me a little time and I'll have leech. And once you have leech, the age of um, any kind of SC, much of anything really, it doesn't work unless you've got gift of health and an enormous amount of HP like a Tartarian, in which case I would need life for a life, which if you have Tartarians, I should have life for a life. So yeah, just gonna keep fucking with Ashdod. Um, gonna have to pull some bats back since he did wake up and counter raid a bit to keep him on his toes so that he can't just wander around hoovering his provinces back up because I don't want that to happen. I would like to keep his gold mostly. I'm hoping he moves all these back to here, um, in which case I'll have what like bunch of bats and then these guys and they can hold the walls for a few turns which is all I need um, because then what I can do next turn I can forge a pile of black hearts and as many bottles as I can manage stick them on all these guys right here fly them down assassinate all of his leaders um, and then his troops are immobilized on my fort I take the retreats and then ping him to rout all his guys and they dissolve um, it's a really powerful combo, something you should do whenever you have seducers or assassins. It kind of pans um, the thing that you should fear from nations like Pan, and anybody with stealth and blood can, of course, play the same game as soon as they get Construction 6. Anyway, that is turn 30.